What's up everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another video. Today I have something a little bit special for you all. I'm going to be talking about film photography. One thing that I recently started to do, I started to develop my film and that changed the whole perspective of it. I've been shooting film non-stop since then. I started, you know, shooting all my film with the light meter on my phone and also using the Canon F1. Um, so that means that this is a fully manual camera. Is it better to trust the system of a camera such as the A1 program or even the Minolta X700 or is it better to just go ahead and just manually expose it yourself um, since it's fully manual you have to make sure that you're knowledgeable about using a light meter and comfortable so if you're pretty comfortable with the camera you can go ahead and guess your your settings and you may get something right film is you know you kind of pick that ISO or the ASA based off of the film stock that you have you cannot change that at all. This is more of a test of how well these photos are exposed using the same exact film stock. Would we rather go with A, shooting manual, or B, shooting this? And before we jump into this comparison, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and like this video to see more content like this and as well as help the channel grow. And kicking it off, the two photos shown here were taken on the Canon F1. So this was using a light meter and these are more warm up shots so I knew exactly what I was going to get. I kind of like the light, I exposed for that and that's what I got. And one good thing about shooting manuals is that you have the ability to know and document what your settings were for that particular shot. And now this next shot is more of a better comparison between the two cameras. What I really wanted is a photo where both people were facing the sun but this is what we kind of got. On the left side we have the Canon uh, F1 and on the right side we have the Minolta. And if we look at it, we can see that both of them are pretty, you know, exposed pretty well. The one on the left is a little bit more personalized, like I wanted to make sure that the skin was perfectly uh, exposed for. On the second photo, or the one from the Minolta, we can kind of see that it did a good average overall, but it wasn't the perfect exposure for the skin. Um, so personally, I would have to give this one to the Canon F1. And once again, we have the Canon F1 on the left side and the Minolta on the right with the auto exposure. So what we can say here is that I feel like the Canon kind of nailed the exposure and that's from the manual standpoint. But when we look at the auto exposure, it appears that the photo was underexposed and in order to kind of recover some of those things, that's why we have a lot of grain right there. Um, so I have to go ahead and give this one to the Canon F1 once again. And just as a note, both of these are the same exact film stock. We're using the Kodak Color Plus 400 on both of these. So same exact film, bottom the same time should be just as good as each other. And I just want to point out that the Minolta does shine. I don't want to make it seem as if it's not a good camera. It does really well. And this is exactly where it does well. You don't know when it'll do well, but it does great in certain scenarios. And now what I want you to do is keep that in your mind. Um, now what we're going to do, we're going to switch over to the Canon F1 and look at these images. Um, if you have any questions or anything regarding any of the photos, feel free to drop comments in the comment section and I will be sure to get back to you regarding them as well. After looking at all this, I kind of feel as if I can say that I would A, prefer to shoot with the manual camera because number one, I do have the ability to say, hey, I like the sun, I'm going to expose for the sun. Hey, I like the shadows or I like the subject in the shadows, I'm going to pretty much expose for the, that person or whatever the subject is in those shadows. So I personally like that a little bit better. Running and gunning, um, I probably think I'll probably pick that one as well. So this is what I do if I'm out doing street photography. I'll go out and expose the light for the sun. Like, all right, this is what I want to shoot at. And then if there's a subject in the shadow, I'll expose for the shadows and have these numbers kind of memorized. So I mean, for the most part, it's just me flipping the aperture between two different settings. It makes it really quick. So all that being said, I do have to go with the Canon F1. It's not the easiest to use, but if I, go, if I want to go for something that's light, I'm definitely gonna go for this. It's, it, this is a super light camera. It's comfortable, you got a nice grip. This camera over here, it feels like, I mean, it is heavy. It's pretty heavy. If I drop it, it will be okay. But if I drop it, something's gonna be broken. Maybe not the camera, maybe even the concrete, but something's going to be damaged. Thank you for tuning into the channel today. Uh, please feel free to drop a comment, um, all information or anything that you would like to add, debate, discuss, in the comment section is welcome. Um, so yeah, thank you. And if there's any film stocks that y'all like to look at, please let me know. 